Hello, uh, today I'm presenting the SENA team participation at the Fig News Shared Task uh, 2024, uh, a multilingual data set uh, annotated with bias and propaganda. This research was conducted in collaboration with uh, Ari Jaber, Mustafa Jarrad, Ahmed Qadi, and Mais Kandil. Uh, before I start, let me show you the resource page for uh, SENA Lab where uh, you can download the multilingual data set annotated with bias and propaganda. The FIG, the FIG News shared task uh, focuses on uh, framing the Israeli war on Gaza by focusing on the news media narratives. It covers different uh, events uh, of the war during the period of October 7, 2023 to January 31st, 2024. The corpus consists of 15,000 uh, Facebook uh, posts from verified accounts using uh, the word Gaza as a, a keyword for the query. Uh, the posts are in five languages, Arabic, Hebrew, English, French, and Hindi. Our contributions are a multilingual data set. Uh, a corpus consists of 12,000 Facebook posts annotated with bias and propaganda in five languages and annotation guidelines in order to ensure consistency and accuracy. Our guidelines for uh, bias, we use the bias classifications provided by the shared task organizers, but we added a type of bias uh, if the post is classified as uh, bias, either against Palestine, against Israel, or against other, or against both, uh, it, um, uh, it is either uh, explicit bias or implicit bias or uh, vague. For the propaganda guidelines, we also use the propaganda classifications uh, uh, provided by the shared task organizers, but we used, uh, we classified uh, three types for uh, propaganda. If the post is classified as propaganda, it's either propaganda must be deleted or propaganda may be deleted. If the post is uh, not propaganda, it's a propaganda not to be deleted. Our team consists of uh, five experts uh, introduced in the beginning of the presentation and the annotators. The annotators are uh, 10 master students specializing in law at Birzeit University. Seven of them are females, three of them are male, and they all are uh, native Arabic speakers. So they use the Arabic language uh, to um, annotate the uh, posts. In order to ensure uh, quality of uh, our annotations, we used the inter-annotator agreement. We used two evaluation metrics, the F1 score and the Cohen's Kappa. The Cohen Kappa uh, average score for bias was 80%, and the average score for propaganda was 70%. The F1 score uh, for bias is 65%, and for propaganda is 73%. Uh, our results show that uh, SENA team achieved, among 17 other uh, participating teams, uh, third place in bias IAA quality and quantity and in propaganda guidelines, and second place in IAA quality and quantity. Uh, our uh, bias distribution uh, shows that uh, 27 of posts are biased against Palestine and 63 of posts are unbiased, while most bias against Palestine originated from French posts. As we can see from this table, the distribution of bias classes among the five languages. For the propaganda distribution, 30%, 31% of the posts are annotated as propaganda, 66% of the posts are annotated as not propaganda and the majority of propaganda is from French posts as we can see from this table shown. For the type of bias, uh, the table, this table shows the distribution of the type of bias on the five, among the five languages. We can see that most posts with explicit bias are in Hebrew. For the type of propaganda, uh, the table shows that most posts uh, who are classified as propaganda that must be deleted are in French language. This was our participation in the Fig News Shared Task. If you need more questions, you can reach out uh, at this email. Thank you for listening.